Hello, Camelanials. For this episode, we will be talking about five qualities that will prevent you from going overboard. Quality number one, humility. No one wants to be in the same ship with an arrogant man. Arrogance is the primary reason why crews fight with each other. This is basically due to the fact that a proud man hates his fellow proud men. If you are a cadet or even the master of the vessel, it pays dividend to stay humble and keep your feet planted on the ground. If you are still in the low ranks, humility will help you gain more knowledge and skills because your companions will be happy to teach a humble man. If you are already on the management level position, your subordinates will have more respect and follow your orders diligently, thus making your work easier. Quality number two, camaraderie. This is famously known for Filipinos as pakikisama. This quality will gather you more friends and makes your contract a little fast to finish. This is the epoxy that binds the crew of the vessel. Seafarers always say that it doesn't matter if you still possess less skills and knowledge as long as you have the sense of camaraderie. Skills and knowledge can be easily acquired through time, but the quality of camaraderie takes time to develop, and if you are a stubborn man, you may not develop it at all. Quality number three, politeness. Respect begets respect. This is applicable even if you are raiding or the master. Subordinates must show respect to their seniors and follow their orders, while the seniors should also show respect and compassion and also respect to the rights of their subordinates. This can be shown through simple greetings whenever you pass someone on the hallway, regardless of their rank. A simple greeting can brighten someone's day and gives comfort to those who have problems. Quality number four, eagerness. Any superior with a subordinate which shows eagerness towards his or her job will surely be delighted and recommend that particular person for promotion. Eagerness is the catalyst that will enable you to climb through the ranks. Leaders with zealousness will also spark their men to do their job well and will make the working environment full of fun. This aura of eagerness is so contagious that one eager crew can make the whole ship work efficiently. And last but not the least, quality number five, joyfulness. Despite the isolated condition that we seafarers live on board, we must find a way in order to get going and be still happy with what we have. Even though we are far away from our loved ones, surrounded by the vicious sea and exposed to limitless dangers, we must still wear that smile in our weary faces. These are many, but there are many activities on board that can make us happy, like Sabado nights, karaoke, movies, sports, and other leisure activities. It's okay to be sad because sometimes we can't help it due to the length of our strength of our contract. But what is important is that we are striving every day to be happy no matter what. Hope you have learned something from this session and if you have any other qualities that likes to be included, you can message us directly to our Facebook page, The Millennial Sea Fairs. Also, kindly visit our YouTube page, The Millennial Sea Fairs, for more insightful and educational videos. Thank you and kudos to all seafarers.